uh, in the last video, I promised that I would do this uh, conversion from standard form ax squared plus bx plus c into vertex form using another method. The other method I was going to use is um, um, completing the square. And this is kind of a messy one to do completing the square on, but if you want to see a messy one, uh, watch on. Okay, so uh, first step to completing the square is you look at the x squared term and the x term, and you want to factor out um, the a term, which happens to be negative 2 in this case. So we're going to factor out negative 2, and that's just going to leave a big mess here. It's going to be 5 halves, okay? Um, just to confirm that that works, let's multiply negative 2 times 5 halves. We'll get negative 5, which is what's here. So that... Uh, was a correct factoring there. And then uh, <clears throat> the next step is to uh, put in here uh, whatever um, last term we need to make this into a perfect square. And the way we get that is we divide this by 2. So 5 fourths, we divide it by 2. And then we square it. We square 5 fourths. And we're going to get, um, let's see, 25 25 sixteenths. Okay, so we're going to add 25 sixteenths, which would be 5 fourths squared, and then we're going to immediately subtract it also, because we, we want to just add something that's equivalent to 0, which is plus 25 sixteenths minus 25 sixteenths is 0. I hope this is not the first time you've watched Completing the Square, because this is a really difficult example to watch for the first time. Um, now that we've, uh, we've put in the magic number, 25 sixteenths, uh, we now have a perfect square there. And uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to separate out this perfect square that we've set up. And then we're going we're gonna to separate out the, this, this term, minus 25 sixteenths, which we just put in, to make sure that uh, we're adding zero. We add this and we subtract this, comes out to be zero. So now let's take the, let's take the uh, square root of that. It's going to be x plus, and the magic factor there is 5 fourths. So x plus 5 fourths squared. The negative 2 just comes down here. Okay? So x plus 5 fourths quantity squared is equal to this. And if you want to check it out, do FOIL. If you do FOIL, you can see that uh, it's equal to this uh, quadratic. Then uh, we can go ahead and multiply it, simplify this. Uh, uh, this is going to give us like uh, plus 25 over 8 plus 3. And now we just need to put these two together. Uh, 3 is the same thing as 24 eighths. So in the end, we end up with 49 eighths plus and x plus 5 fourths squared negative 2. So um, we get the same answer as we did before. You can see that the vertex is at negative 5 fourths comma 49 8, which is the same answer we got before. Uh, be careful because remember this is x minus h. So since there's no negative here, that means that uh, the, the h term is actually negative 5 fourths because it's a negative, it's a minus negative. Okay, so h is negative 5 fourths. k is, it's, it's plus k, so it's just positive 49 eighths.